So the deep pectoral, uh, the deep muscles of the chest and thorax, this one here that looks like a fan or a seashell, remember that? That's called, and remember what that's called? Serratus ventralis. Right, good, the serratus ventralis, okay. Then, remember the rectus abdominis, which we're going to talk about in a minute, runs straight up the uh, abdomen, right? Here's the rectus abdominis, and it goes straight up the abdomen, and all of a sudden it crosses over here, right? This is what I call the exit ramp of the rectus abdominis, right? That's called the transversus costarum. So this is the transversus costarum right here. It's very big in this cat. And then here you can see part of what we call the arrow, the scalenus muscles. The middle part of the arrow is called the scalenus medius. The part here that's towards the belly is called the scalenus anterior. And the part that's towards the back of the cat here is called the scalenus posterior. And when these three scalenus muscles come together, one, two, three, that's called the, that's, you know, the scalenus group. And they form sort of an arrow configuration when they all merge together. So the big part of the arrow, the middle part, is called scalenus medius. The part towards the belly, towards the front of the cat, is called scalenus anterior. And the part towards the back side of the cat is called the scalenus posterior. So you have to know all three. I could ask, put a pin in any of the three scalenus muscles and ask you to identify them. If you write scalenus and you, you know, write the wrong one, you'll get half credit, all right? Okay, so those, and also, uh, in that group was also lift, listed the uh, levitus scapulae, which you have to turn over the cat to see. Okay, so the levitus scapulae, again, is here on the, on between the subscapularis and the splenius. It's this flap of muscle here is the levitus scapulae. Okay, so that's called the levitus scapulae. It's actually a continuation of the serratus ventralis. If you follow the serratus ventralis, it actually continues as the levitus scapulae on the other side. Okay, so let me find this here. Um, also, um, the deep muscles here are between the ribs. These are called the intercostals. You only have to know the external intercostals. I will not ask you the internal. So if I put a pin between two ribs, you just write external intercostals, right, or, okay? So this cat is excellent for the uh, serratus muscles, for the scalenes, and the intercostals, okay? Now we come to the abdominal muscles.